Sometimes you may want to show a dialog box so the user can select a folder. To do this, you can use file dialog object. So let's go to Visual Basic Editor and let's write some code. Right click Sheet 1 and select View Code. Double click Module 1. And let's create new subroutine and let's call it Getting Folder. Let's declare selected folder variable. And in here, let's write code which will show folder picker dialog. So what we need to do in here is we need to type with application dot. And in here, we need to select file dialog as we're going to use file dialog object, open bracket. And in here, we need to specify dialog type we are going to show. So in our case, it will be file dialog folder picker. So let's select that one. And to show this dialog, just type dot show. So let's save it and let's try it developer macros and let's run our macro. So we've got our dialog showing. We haven't finished our code yet. We are not getting selected for the name yet. So what we need to do is we need to type if show equals minus one else and if. So if show equals minus one, this means OK button clicked, else cancel button clicked. If user click cancel, we don't need to do anything. If user click OK, let's get folder name. So let's type selected folder. equals and to get folder name type dot selected items and from selected items collection we want to select selected folder name also let's use msg box function in here to show folder name Let's save it and let's try it again. So if we click cancel, nothing happened. If we click OK, let's select, for example, pictures. So we selected pictures folder. If we click OK, we should get this name. So let's click OK. And we've got full path. We've got C users MM pictures. We can also change some elements in here. We can, for example, change title. Now it's browse. We can change it to be, for example, select a folder. We can change OK button to be confirm. And also we can set default path. Now it's libraries we can change it to be, for example, C drive. So let's do this. Type dot title and type select folder. To change button, type dot button name and let's type confirm and to set default path we need to use initial file name and let's type c so it is gonna be c drive so let's try again save it So we've got select folder now instead of browse. 
we've got confirm button and we've got C drive selected.